To up your style game, check out HypeLitStore.com to find some of the latest trendy designs. With the Space Galaxy hoodie, Oreo joggers, or vintage Rick t-shirt, among many others. Once again, at HypeLitStore.com. Secrets you didn't know about Wreck-It Ralph. If you would like to be entered into a monthly shoutout contest, please leave a like on this video and comment your thoughts on this video down below. Disney references. To directly quote the website mentalfloss.com, the teams in the Hoop Up Jams game are Rutland and Medfield, the basketball teams from the absent-minded professor. Also, there are at least two hidden Mickeys. One appears as dials in a helmet in the Hero Duties game, and another one can be spotted masquerading as a mint cactus in Sugar Rush. Maximus, the horse from Tangled, makes an appearance in Game Central Station. Tiny the Dinosaur from Meet the Robinsons shows up in both Game Central Station and the arcade game Fatal Assault. Video Game Characters The world of video games has been around for many decades by this point, to where we now have many classic franchises that are beloved by many around the world. Wreck-It Ralph features some of these video game characters, such as Dr. Eggman from Sonic the Hedgehog, Neff from Altered Beast, and Bowser from Mario. Plus, q characters such as q himself, Coily, Slick, Sam, and Ugg from Street Fighter, there is Chun-Li, Cammy, and Blanka from Pac-Man, the ghost Blinky, Pinky, and Inky, plus Pac-Man himself, the Paperboy from Paperboy, Paddles and the Ball from Pong, Frogger from Frogger, Laura Croft from the Tomb Raider series, and Mario are mentioned, as there are also some other characters as well. Voice cameos. But some of the original voice actors of video game characters made appearances. The film features several cameos from real world video game characters, including Root Beer Tapper, played by Maurice LaMarche, the bartender from Tapper, Sonic the Hedgehog, Roger Craig Smith, Ryu, Kyle Herbert, Ken Masters, Ruben Langdon, M. Bison, General C. Rivers, and Zangief, Rich Moore from Street Fighter 2, and Clyde. Kevin Dieters from Pac-Man, as well as Universe, played by Jamie Speyer Roberts from Dance Dance Revolution. And a character is modeled after dubstep musician Skrillex, makes an appearance in the fictional Fix-It Felix Jr. as the DJ at the anniversary party of the game. Konami Code In the scene where King Candy unlocks the vault in Sugar Rush, the combination to the vault is the famous Konami Code. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Here is the history of the Konami Code if you didn't know. And if you do know, well here's a refresher. The Konami Code is a cheat code that appears in many Konami video games. Although the code also appears in some non-Konami games. And to clarify, Konami is the name of a publisher. They have created a lot of famous series, but that is what that is in reference to in terms of the name. So, the player could press the following sequence of buttons on a game controller to enable the cheat or other effects. Once again, the code is up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. The code has also found a place in popular culture as a reference to the third generation of video game consoles. The code is also present as an easter egg on a number of websites. The code was first used in the 1986 release of Gradius for the NES and was popularized among North American players in the NES version of Contra, for which it was also dubbed both the Contra Code and 30 Lives Code. The Konami Code was created by Kazuza Hashimoto who was developing the home port of the 1985 arcade game Gradius, a scrolling shooter released on the NES in 1986. Finding the game too difficult to play through during testing, he created a cheat code to give the player a full set of power-ups, normally attained gradually throughout the game. After entering the sequence using the controller when the game was paused, the player received all available power-ups. The mistake was discovered after the release, but developers decided to leave it there as removing it could result in new bugs and glitches. The sequence was easy enough to remember for testers and simultaneously sufficiently hard to enter accidentally during the gameplay for unsuspecting users. The Konami code was thus introduced in the series, other sequels, and spin-offs, with some key differences. In the Super NES version of Gradius 3, the original code destroys the player ship. 
However, replacing left and right with the L and R triggers of the SNES controller powers the ship. In the most recent iteration of the series, Gradius Rebirth, on the Wii, the Wii remotes 1 and 2 buttons fill in for A and B respectively. The code has now been subsequently reused in a large number of other games, and a varied version of the code is now used in the Opera browser to activate hidden advanced settings. Plot. When Lidwick's Family Fun Center and Arcade closes at night, the various video game characters leave their normal in-game roles and socialize in a power strip. Wreck-It Ralph, the antagonist of the game Fix-It Felix Jr., is ostracized by its other characters for just doing his job. When the titular hero, Felix, is praised and rewarded medals for protecting the inhabitants from Ralph. Tired of being mistreated, Ralph announces at the game's 30th anniversary party that he will earn his neighbor's respect by winning a medal. Ralph learns he can obtain a medal from the first-person shooter, Hero's Duty. After disrupting a game session, Ralph scales the game's central beacon and obtains a medal, only to hatch a Cybug, one of the game's monsters which can adapt to other environments and incorporate the artifacts that it devours from those places into its body. Ralph and the Cybug stumble into an escape pod, which is launched out of the game and crash land in Sugar Rush, a candy-themed kart racing game. With Ralph missing, his game is labeled as malfunctioning and faces being unplugged. Felix, upon learning from q that Ralph has left his game, ventures to Hero's Duty and allies with the game's heroine, Sergeant Kalharn, to retrieve Ralph and the Cybuck. Felix explains to Calhoun that he fears Ralph has gone turbo, an idiom the arcade inhabitants use in reference to a racer named Turbo who abandoned his auto racing game and attempted to take over a more popular title, glitching them resulting in both being unplugged. A little girl, Vanellope Von Schweetz, steals Ralph's medal to buy her way into the nightly race to determine which characters players can choose as their avatar. King Candy, the ruler of Sugar Rush, forbids her from racing because she has glitches that cause her to teleport erratically. Ralph and Vanellope agree to work together to retrieve his medal and help her win a race. They build a cart and hide out at a Diet Cola Mountain, an unfinished racetrack, where Ralph teaches her to drive. King Candy hacks the game's code to obtain Ralph's medal and offers it to Ralph in exchange for preventing Vanellope from racing. He claims that if Vanellope wins and becomes playable, her glitches will be brought to the attention of players and Sugar Rush will be unplugged. The glitch of Vanellope cannot leave her game and she will be left to die while King Candy and his subjects become homeless in the arcade. Ralph reluctantly agrees and destroys Vanellope's cart. On returning to his own game, which has been evacuated in anticipation of it being unplugged the next morning, he notices Vanellope's image on the side of the Sugar Rush cabinet and realizes she was meant to be a playable character. Meanwhile, Felix and Calhoun search Sugar Rush for Ralph. Felix falls in love with Calhoun, but she abandons him when he inadvertently reminds her of her late fiancé. Felix is later imprisoned in King Candy's castle, but Ralph frees him and Vanellope, and Felix fixes the cart. Calhoun discovers a swarm of Cybug eggs underground, which hatch and start devouring the game. Vanellope participates in the race, but is attacked by King Candy. Vanellope's glitch reveals he is actually Turbo, who took over Sugar Rush, displacing Vanellope as the main character. Ralph, Felix, and Calhoun evacuate the game, but Vanellope is trapped due to her glitches. When Calhoun points out that the Cybugs can be destroyed by a beacon of light, as in Hero's Duty, Ralph decides to make Diet Cola Mountain erupt to replicate it. During his attempts, Ralph is confronted by Turbo, now fused with a Cybug that devoured him. Ralph makes the mountain erupt and falls into its deaths. But Vanellope saves him using her glitch. The volcanic beacon destroys the Cybugs and Turbo. Vanellope crosses the finish line, rebooting Sugar Rush and restoring her status and memory as Princess Vanellope, the main character of the game. Ralph and Felix return home, and their game is spared. Felix and Calhoun marry. Vanellope gains popularity as a playable character due to her teleporting glitch, and a content Ralph gains respect from his fellow characters. Once again, if you would like to be entered into our monthly shoutout contest where we will read off some comments that you have left over the previous month's videos, then please let us know your thoughts on this video down below. Also, are you looking forward to Wreck-It Ralph 2? I assume if you're searching out Wreck-It Ralph videos, you probably are, and we can say that here we definitely are very excited to see Wreck-It Ralph 2 coming out later 
this year. It's going to be here in an instant, so while the wait may seem like it's going to take forever at the moment, it's really not too far away. Time will come eventually. Just maybe don't think about it too much. Maybe finish binge watching the rest of these Wreck-It Ralph videos and just kind of just kind of put it to the side of your brain, I suppose, in the back of your brain, and then you'll remember once it comes out, which will be later this year once again. But thank you all so much for watching. Have yourself a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.